Oh, hello. Another beautiful day today. A little overcast. The flowers are still alive. Amazing. They look pretty. Anyway, I'm going to go out running. I'm going to take you running with me for a little bit. And while I wait for my juice shake to thaw out a little bit. Okay. I brought the garbage cans out. That done. So let's start up. It doesn't feel too hot. So let's get it going. All right. I love to run barefoot and uh, no, not have any music. Just me and nature. Oh, mulberry bush. Ooh, I remember getting mulberries when I was a little girl. I'd sit up there and eat and eat and eat. Okay, I try and stay away from the main road because I don't want to breathe the fumes. So I run around the neighborhood and, and barefoot, I'm less likely to step on something. I stay in my neighborhood. If I go outside the neighborhood, I bring my shoes with me. And uh, I used to run with shoes and I've fallen twice. And that's with shoes on. I had to get like nine stitches. Anyway, that was out on the canal road. I think with the shoes off, you can feel the ground better. So I like running the barefoot. And both times when I fell, I wasn't watching where I was going. I took my eyes off my path. And that's how it is in life. Seems like when you fall, you take your eyes off the path. And I always take my camera with me in races and document that. We're going to run in the 24th of July race. The grandkids want to start running, so... I'll be with them in the 5K. And the challenge for the grandkids is beat grandma. See, kids usually start out way fast and use all their energy. They don't, they don't know how to pace yet. So they'll beat me the first mile, but after that, I'll have them. And that's another thing you have to learn how to do in life. Pace yourself. Don't do run faster than you are able to run. Always the dogs. I know, I love them too. Oh, pavement's too hot, too hot. Ah, uh, sidewalk, there we go. Okay, two mile mark, and it's getting too hot out here. So, I'm gonna head home. It's too hot. Okay, I'm home now, and I'll just walk in the house to cool down for about 10 minutes and, and go get ready for the We're going to go see the horse show, as I told you before. I got my bracelet in the mail, and it says Grandma on it. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe, maybe put it on my leg. Yeah, my Grandma bracelet. Okay, we're going to the horse show, and there's the tent set up. There it is. So We've watched this from the freeway. Cavalia, the horse show. I can't believe it. <laughs> no show parking. Okay, so we're going over there. Chocolate in the purse. Don't take a Oh, we're almost there. Here we go. We're going in kinds of stuff to buy. Alright, we got about 20 minutes and the show will start. Okay, it's intermission. It's getting way hot in there. We have a half hour break. So we're going to get some water. We're right here by the mall. Oh, there we go. Air conditioning. It was getting way hot in there. The show's amazing. We can't film though. But we can take pictures of the I pictures. Oh, we found a place we like. If you are thirsty, come in here. Wow. How fun. Rainbow sherbet in a cup, fun cup like this. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, time to head back in. Okay, we're all done. Got to find our car. That was amazing. They had the horses running through water. It was really amazing. Okay, made it home from the horse show, and 
We got a new Nutella for Papa O. So we'll see if he can see it up there. If I can get Papa O down here to say goodnight, he hasn't gone to bed yet. That was amazing. Too bad they wouldn't let me take pictures. I mean, take video. So I'm saying goodnight. I had fun at the horse show with my daughter and um, and a little granddaughter, Naomi. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And Papa went on his walk today. And did, I think I'll close with my quote first. And then you can close with your quote. How's okay. Because do it a little good. different. Okay. The only exercise some people get are jumping to conclusions, <laughs> running down friends, <laughs> sidestepping responsibility, and pushing their luck. <laughs> I like that one. So get more exercise than that. Okay. <laughs> the weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. That's right. It's strong it takes strong to forgive. Mahatma Gandhi. Mahat Gandhi. Mahat Gandhi. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you everybody. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and commenting. And hope you have a great day. <laughs> thank you. Good night, everybody.